I believe there to be some shit at play where the corporations, companies, higher ups have are at war with Drake. I've been saying this. I've said the same you thing. You said that. So I don't think Wayne getting snubbed for the Super Bowl has anything to do with Wayne. But you saying you don't think Wayne I'm got just saying snubbed? He, I, period. I, I don't. But the, for okay. the people that saying he did get snubbed, okay, let's say let, let me entertain that. If he did get snubbed, it's not because of him. It's because of his loyalty. We know if Wayne gets the Super Bowl, he's bringing Drake. He's bringing, bringing Drake. He's bringing Nikki. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A given. Not a given. I say it's a given. I say out it's of not. loyalty only. And if, I ain't going to let you be the only one to start telling a little bit of truth up here. I don't know if none of them fuck with each other. It's not about okay. fucking with each other. Yeah, it's on about this, optics. On this stage yeah. right and here. I, and I'm, and I'm with Ice there. I don't with care the who you're with. I'm down to die on my own hill. Okay. Now, okay. If, I'm if, just, if I'm, I'm Drake, I can do the Super Bowl alone. No, you can't. Yes, I can. How? What do you mean, how? I'm Drake. No, no, no. You have to be selected for that. No, what I'm he's saying. saying oh, I, sure. I am on the Super Bowl list of people that can do this. Mm-hmm. So I don't yes. know if Drake today is willing to come out and cameo to Lil Wayne. I don't know that. That's an assumption for me. If I'm Drake and I want to do the Super Bowl, but I ain't getting a call, I've probably inquired or whatever, but they, we know who's running the show behind the scenes. And if they're not letting me do it, but my man is on here and my man fuck with me heavy and my man is loyal, I can get on here with my man. Mm-hmm. And I don't know that Drake don't have a beef with the Carters. That he don't have a beef? I don't know that it's not tension there. I'm See, saying every, it is tension. Every, everywhere we turn here, I'm going to assume that there is some type of I'm tension. I'm saying there is tension. I'm saying there is 100% tension with the Carters. I, I, Go ahead. Let me let me say this. Even if um, Wayne didn't go, let's say I just wanted to put on for New Orleans. Mm-hmm. We got 13 minutes. I don't mm-hmm. necessarily have to go get Drake and Nikki. I can still bring features. I can still make it a New Orleans, Louisiana thing and get my 13 minutes off without the addition of Drake and Nikki. We just saw Essence Fest mm-hmm. a couple months ago. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was a cash money reunion. Mm-hmm. And what did we come in here and talk about? How what? Wayne said he not going if BG not going. No, no, Wayne, they did their reunion part. Mm-hmm. And then it was uh, Hot Boys, Big Timers, all of them. Mm-hmm. And Wayne wasn't a part of that. Mm-hmm. Let them leave the stage. And then he came And out. came out to do his solo thing. So y'all couldn't do Essence Fest together. I'm supposed to believe y'all could do Super Bowl together? No, Super but they, Bowl, Super Bowl is different. But not just that. I, they 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 planned something else after Essence Festival, after whatever they worked out. They still had a Yeah, uh, they got they got Louis, they got exactly. Wayne's Festival coming exactly. up and we'll see, but that's November. We'll see mm-hmm. how that plays out. I can't speak to the future. Mm-hmm. I'm just talking about what happened. We saw y'all had the opportunity there to do that and you didn't do it. I don't necessarily know that the Super Bowl is going to that would happen. To me, it's about impact and optics. Yeah. To me. So I, I feel like Wayne is going to go above and beyond. So you're talking about, mm-hmm. I feel like when it comes to the Super Bowl, he's going to amend whatever he has to amend just so it could it can mean something. Personal feelings doesn't come into play when it's time for Super Bowl. Sometimes and, it do. Well, well, who? Wayne clearly has st- stood on business. Mm-hmm. Yes. Wayne yeah, is loyal I'm not, I'm, and, okay. and rides for his people. Okay. Yeah. Which he to me, to me, this is no... I could see Wayne doing the same thing that Eminem did for the L.A. Super Bowl. And I'm saying that about, about Drake not knowing if he'll want to show up in cameo to Wayne. Mm-hmm. I don't know if Wayne want to share that spotlight with Drake at this point in his career. I don't know that. That's true. I don't know that. We don't Wayne, know for sure. We speculate. Wayne as a legacy act today should have a checklist of things that he would like to do, and they should be seismic. The Super Bowl is one of them. There was already rumblings that it was something going on when they co-headlined that shit and was doing like a versus tour. Mm-hmm. Remember all the talk yeah, about yeah. that? Like Lil, Lil, Wayne, Lil Wayne versus Drake tour. Yeah, that, that was a thing. I think that that's a thing that nobody is going to talk about, but that's there. I don't know that Wayne want to share that stage with uh, Drake. I don't know that. It's possible. It is. I'm, it's, I'm, it's being, all, it's all I'm speculative, being speculative mm-hmm. of course. here, but yeah, no. But shit, what I'm saying don't really got much to do with discography. And I'm with you on just Super Bowl ad dollars. <laughs> if we put catalogs and music to the side, what have we seen from Wayne recently that would make a board anoint him as 
the face and representative of black music at the biggest event of the year today. What have we seen from Wayne? And that, that, that's the, the, the performances have not looked the greatest, but we're quiet about it because we love Wayne. Wayne. And mm-hmm. no, whoa, 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 whoa! I, I got to push back there because I was on that side. The performance, did, the performances were rough for a minute. I came in here and trashed his performances. It was the Amazon Prime show that he did, completely sober. I don't know if that has something to do with it because Amazon was not allowing any type of. Um, and it was a great, but I'm hold on, hold on. He had a great performance. Ice, great. You lose the you lose the C suite already when you have to say he was completely sober. But it shows if he's sober, he can. do I that. don't give a fuck what it shows if you are sober. That's that's not just, just that. If you're aboard, if you're aboard, and there has to be a if. Yeah, the fact that it, you, have, you even have to consider it yeah. is, yes. you know, is a they, they, massive but we question see, but mark. But we've seen he could, like, again, and I went to his tour. I went to the Welcome to the Carter tour, and he smoked that shit. You said that. And I came in here and was like, wow, all the shit that I talked about his performances, I walked it back because n- this was a different Wayne performing. He, mm-hmm. it, it almost looks like he took this serious. Some of them other shows, it looked like he wasn't taking them serious. They were saying that Wayne wouldn't even show up for rehearsal. Somebody came out. I don't know if it was the Grammys or something. Somebody came out and it was on Twitter saying that I worked with Wayne. We didn't even know like if he was going to. He didn't show up for rehearsal. He was extremely difficult to work with on our end. And but that could be older. Like again, I don't know yeah. where. So all that I've shit does build up a reputation. But let's yeah. these all of these, all of yeah. these is and maybe not in possibility. Y'all are right. Yeah, like it takes people, a long time yeah, to rectify dog. that. I'm just saying, I don't, I, I don't want to keep holding him to his performances look bad I understand. because he's definitely improved in performance. Grammys art director Sean Harrison speaks out and says, yeah, there you go, Grammys. I've worked with Lil Wayne before for Grammy performance and personal feelings that would be the biggest mistake ever putting him as the headliner for the biggest performance of the year, the Super Bowl. He showed up to zero rehearsals. We didn't even think he would make the performance. Then last minute he was in the building and ran on stage for the performance ran off back into oblivion, LOL. Never even got to meet him after a week of rehearsals for a show. Kendrick Lamar is one of the greatest rap performers ever and unapologetically black in his message, and it's during Black History Month. It's going to be a spectacle. Well, that, um, was, that was the other thing that I was going to say with Wayne. This is Black History Month. We know where Wayne has stood. We know whose side Wayne has stood on oh, in terms of politics and all of that. Oh, yeah. We've seen these pictures. We've heard some of the statements mm-hmm. he's made, and it could be those who are selecting the performer. We don't. They don't need that That's image right now. Mm-hmm. I didn't think about that too. Mm-hmm. I didn't think about that. That so was that part. was that, that was a part of the that, discussion that, as well. Yeah, a small that, part. Yeah. But oh yeah, was, no, they're throwing loud. everything yeah. in the speculative gumbo yeah. pot. Yeah. There's that. There's Wayne is a Republican and Trump Trump's supporter. Trump. Yeah. Yeah. He said all lives matter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ack is on stream talking about Hove approached Drake for the title streaming thing, and that didn't work out. So now Hove got it up for Drake pause. I don't. Really, I don't. I don't, I don't subscribe that. to that. Hove has done bad features for Drake after since then. after that. After well, that, what I, don't, what I don't subscribe to. Um, that. My man Toon pointed something out, and he was just like. You know, a lot of these whole pow pals come from Drake. You worked on the Beyonce house album, and then you did and then a house you went album. and did a house album and dropped it right before hers, and they ain't like that. Hmm. Like I wouldn't like that if I'm them. Yeah, I wouldn't because like you got to understand we're dealing with the power part of money, power, respect. Mm-hmm. That's the part that we have to focus on. People with power are going to exert it now. Like, when this much is at, at play. So, yeah, I don't think they like that shit. I don't know what's behind it, but they ain't like that move, that little house album, after you worked on my shit. Hell no. I, I also got a little bit of tea. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. What's it? Spill it. Come on, now. Eh. Eh. It's hot tea. Oh, we're ready. I'm sure you, you got the, You got the straw? You, 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 <laughs> yeah. Sure? yeah. You put a little more water in the You can water down the tea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aqua. <laughs> I mean, Cam and them kind of alluded to there being some behind this, something behind the scenes at play between the parties involved. And I don't know if I got the same tea as him. But I'm hearing that there was an event where something happened backstage that, yeah. Between whom? I can't, I can't say. Yeah. I can't say because the tea is too hot. But so something cool. happened backstage at one of them shows. 
Put some milk in it, nigga. I can't. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the salt. Put some. Put something different. Come on, you gotta get stupid. Put yeah. some milk. Yeah, lemon <laughs> salt. No, no, because it's it's the hottest of teas. It's oh, the, okay. It's okay. the hottest okay. of. Oh, you can't cool oh, it down. It's the scorching. No, right there's here. no way to new addition that one. Have a tea. You you can't. But the, but these things are at play. Like, can you say what? Not who, but what happened? Was there argument? A disagreement? There was something that went on backstage that would affect the decision making and makers of yeah. events like this. And it just contributes to the reputation that Wayne has for being inconsistent. I don't yes, know if he maybe. has that. I don't know if he has that reputation. Well, I mean, we were we just what you just read talking about the fact he didn't show up to any rehearsals, the fact that they well, that's can't, one person's account. Yeah. I don't want to make yeah, that broad yeah, stroke. That's, that's one I person's account. I mean, but that's account. but the Grammys is a really big deal. So the fact that we're talking about the Super Bowl, we're talking about big stages, and if you have you know even the smallest reputation of being inconsistent, where people aren't going to know how you're going to show up if you're going to the show up. The music business is very small, and at yeah. this level, it is tiny. Yes. Mm -hmm. These mega, mega, huge corporate they talk. events, yes. they talk. this is a very fucking small circle. Mm -hmm. So yes. if any type of reputation is out there, it ain't going to bode well for you. Right. And I want to preface this. I want to preface everything I say with... <clears throat> pardon me. I want to preface everything I say with... I'm upset that we announce a black hip-hop halftime performer mm -hmm. and we just muddy the water with who we think should have been yeah, or who nice. y'all think should have been the black performers. Some of y'all out there, it's y'all young kids that got platforms now. Y'all wasn't even alive for the 100 years of Kid Rock and Guns N' Roses and, 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 and the Who <laughs> and Bruce Springsteen. Yeah, yeah. Like, y'all wasn't there. Yeah, this could have easily been Katy Perry or yes. fucking yes. whoever the hey, fuck. we thought yeah. it was going to be Taylor. Or Taylor. Uh, all this shit from last year. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all was thinking Taylor anyway. So yeah. this is a win. 